question here is asking us to determine the magnitude of the components of the force applied parallel and perpendicular to the member AB. When we have a look at the frame in here, this frame had three members, member AB, member BC, let's call this one here C, and let's call this one here D. So we have three members of the frame and the forces applied at B that force is equal to 300 Newton straight or parallel to the y-axis that force now is pulling towards the y-axis in this direction and we have to determine the force or the components of this force along the AB so determine the magnitudes of the components of the force parallel and perpendicular to the member AB so the first step we have to do is to find the unit vector B and to find the unit vector B we have to define position vector B first so the solution in our solution now what we have to do we have to define unit vector the unit vector B so unit vector B equal to the position vector RB divided by the magnitude of RB so finding RB equal to when we look in here this force is applied along the y-axis therefore it's positive 2 meter along the x-axis positive 6 meters along the y-axis positive 3 meters along the x-axis so to represent that um, vector in here we say this is 2i plus 6j plus 3k to find the magnitude so the magnitude of this equal to we take the square root of the squares of each component and that 6 squared plus 3 squared and this should equal to 7 meters once we found the position vector and its magnitude it's easy to find the unit vector itself so the unit vector in this case equal to 2 over 7 i plus 6 over 7 j plus 3 over 7 k so this is our unit vector in here and when we solve 2 over 7 that should equal to in this case not 0.286i not 0.286i plus not 0.857j not 0.857j plus not 0.4 not 0.429k and this is here and this one is here it's our unit vector B we know that the force applied along member AB so the force F along the AB that equal to F the force applied multiplied by either cos theta which is equal to F multiplied by the unit vector itself we don't have theta in this case but we have the unit vector so this is equal the force applied it's a 300 300 Newton along the J component therefore it's a 300 J multiplied by 0.286 I plus not point eight five seven J plus not point four two nine K the force here has got zero components on the X axis therefore it's zero multiplied by the I component zero I multiplied by not point two eight six I plus J then we can multiply 300 here in this case 300 
times 0.857 plus it's got zero components on the k for the k components so times 0.429 this will equal this force in here equal to zero in there so 300 times 0.857 that will equal to 257.1 newton this force here it's positive so positive that means has the same sense of directions of the force applied same sense of direction to the force applied that means the force is here we can see that since it's got the same sense of direction therefore you be here it's positive it's along UB, the same direction with the same directions of the force applied. Now we can extend this member in here to make FAB. And now we can make two rectangular components of this force in there. So to find the force FAB, as we said, FAB, we said that is equal to 257.1 Newton. And now that force to represent this force in a Cartesian form so expressing it in a Cartesian form FAB FAB in a Cartesian form equal to of course FAB UB which is equal to we have here 257.1 Newton this one here multiplied by the full unit vector in there which in this case um, this unit vector we found here not 0.28 not 0.28 not 0.28 6 i plus not 0.857 j plus not 0.429 Okay, well, this is the magnitude of the force. Now we can find when you multiply 257.1 along all of these components i, j, and k, then you find that is for the i component is 73.5 i plus 220j plus 110k. So we found the magnitude of the force first through the unit vector. We had to find the unit vector and to find the unit vector, we need to find the position vectors first. So we found the position vector led us to the magnitude of that vector, led us to the um, unit vector. We found the unit vector. We got the magnitude of the force. The magnitude of the force is positive meaning that will be along the AB with the same that has got the same direction or the same sense of direction as the force itself. Now we can represent or express force of F, um, FAB along the um, X, Y and Z axis in a Cartesian form by multiplying it by the unit vector itself. Now to determine then the magnitude of the um, or to find the perpendicular force if since this one here it's parallel this is the parallel force or the collinear force we just found now we need to find the perpendicular force this component in here the perpendicular component to this force so we found the parallel one we need the perpendicular one to find that there is several ways you can find it but the easiest way in this case so the perpendicular component of FAB we can say F minus FAB itself FAB this is one way guys you can solve or we can use to solve for the perpendicular component which is equal to 300 in this case J minus so the force in there which is this one we found in here minus 73.5 I 
plus 220j plus 110k and in this case once you um, subtract both of them from each other then we find that it's equal to this one here of course there is no component on the x-axis so that remained the same 73.5i this one here this is uh, 300 minus 220 j that will be 79 79.79.6 j and that minus there is no component for the k in here 110 k so this is the for the position or the um the position of the perpendicular force to find the magnitude of it so the magnitude for this force so the if the perpendicular there we take the square root of course of these components um in here so we take the f square with this one in here f square minus f a b square so the same one here which is the magnitude of this position of this force in here in this case it's equal to the square root of 300 newton square minus we already found the magnitude of this force which is 257.125 7.1 square and that will equal to 155 155 Newton so this is how would you this is how you find the components of the force so if it's asking you to find the parallel and perpendicular component of the com uh, components of the force the first step you have to do is to find the unit vector and to find the unit vector you have to find the position vector first the get the magnitude then find the unit vector multiply that the unit vector by the force applied or if theta was to be given then we can find the f cos theta straight if not then we can find the unit vector and everything after that should be easy to solve for See you guys in the next video for more questions on the dot product.